What's up gamers? Welcome back to Pro Warriors. Struggling with a low-end device, less than 4 gigabytes RAM, a basic GPU, or even a non-Snapdragon processor? Don't worry, because today we're diving into something game-changing, the Citron Emulator. Could this be the ultimate solution for playing Nintendo Switch games on Android, even on budget devices? In this video, we'll guide you step by step from downloading and installing the emulator to configuring the best settings for low-end devices, adding games, and setting up keys. If this video blows your mind, and trust me, it will, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe, and tap the bell icon so you never miss an update. Let's jump right in. What is the Citroen emulator? For those unfamiliar, Citroen is a new contender in the world of Nintendo Switch emulation, developed by Zephron. Yes, it's a yuzu fork, but it promises smoother gameplay, better performance, and a more stable experience compared to other mobile emulators. But does it deliver? Let's find out. Citroen offers a straightforward, high-performance, user-friendly interface with homebrew support, making it easy to load your games and tweak settings for optimal performance. You can download Citroen from its GitHub page. It's currently available for Windows, Mac, and Android. Keep in mind, though, it's still under development. Installation and initial setup. After installation, when you first launch Citron, you'll see a disclaimer, a subtle nod to Nintendo's recent legal actions. Unlike Yuzu, Citron doesn't immediately ask for encryption keys or a game directory, which is a nice change. But let's dive into the settings to see what it offers. Configuring settings for low-end devices. Setting up Citron is pretty simple. Click on the gear icon, bottom right corner, and select advanced settings. Then open the system tab. Turn off the limit speed option to utilize your device's full resources. Leave docked mode disabled. While it increases performance, it's not ideal for low-end devices. In the Graphics tab, use your device's native resolution or lower it to 0.5x for smoother gameplay. Other settings, like shaders and aspect ratio, set to stretch to window, can be left as default unless you know your device can handle adjustments. In the Debug tab, set CPU accuracy to normal. Other options like CPU backend and APU accuracy can be left at their default settings. Installing custom GPU drivers. For the best performance, install custom GPU drivers. By default, the emulator detects your device's GPU. Unfortunately, only Snapdragon processors are supported for custom GPU drivers. If you see the option available, install the driver corresponding to your device's GPU. Otherwise, stick to the default driver. Let's add the game directory. Open the settings menu again and navigate to Manage Game Folder. Click on the plus icon, which will open the file manager. Locate the folder where your games are stored. Before trying any games, you can check Yuzu's game compatibility list to ensure the game is playable. Once you've added the game directory, you're good to go. You might notice that the emulator doesn't display any games. This is likely because the encryption keys are missing. Here's how to fix it. Click Open Citron Folder. Drop the key files into the Keys folder. Restart the emulator. Now the games should appear and we're ready to test. A few extra tips. Before playing any games, make sure your device is fully charged, as low battery levels can cause lag. Use a Game Booster app if available. I use my phone's Game Booster and it's really helpful. Focus on playing low-end games like Sonic and others that your device can handle better. That's all for today's video, gamers. If you have any questions or want more tips, drop them in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon for future updates. See you next time.